The University of Toledo Rockets wrapping up the spring football schedule tonight. The glass bowl with an open practice, including a few sessions of live scrimmage. No stats kept for this one, although the D held the offense to a few field goal attempts. Defense always ahead of the offense at this point in the year, right? Quarterback competition, well, nothing really settled. You still got an idea of who can do what, but not that great of an idea. With more from the Glass Bowl, here's BCSN's Mark Coots. Player safety on the forefront of every football coach's mind. That's part of the reason why tonight at the Glass Bowl, UT had an open practice to wrap up the spring season as opposed to a traditional blue versus gold scrimmage. I think overall what I would tell you from spring practice is this team's a fun team to coach. It's a good group of guys to be around, and they really love what they do and they're passionate about it. And if you can handle that and uh, the locker room becomes a player-driven locker room, I think you got a real chance, and I think that's where we're at right now. Uh, good tempo by the offense, throwing around. Um, some quick game. Uh, there's a lot of wind out there today, so getting some good run game established and then seeing the defense fly around and uh, keep pursuing the football. So I think you got to see the little details that we've been working on, the fundamentals that we've been working on all spring. Quarterback competition heating up. Mitchell Guadani, Eli Peters splitting time with the number ones. Adding a wrinkle into this competition, freshman Carter Bradley, who did see some playing time last year, had to sit out the final practices of the spring after injuring his shoulder. You hate to see him go down. I mean, it's a terrible injury, um, but you got to rally around him, keep him upbeat, and just keep competing. You know, before his injury, he had some really good work and had some really good days of practice. Also seeing time at quarterback early enrollee A.J. Guchardo, one of several former Springfield Blue Devils on the Rockets, including running back Bryant Kobach. It's definitely a good feeling, though, my anytime I get to run some reps with A.J. or I'm a Tyler Long being up front. Pretty soon you got a couple more Springfield kids coming back, so it's definitely a good feeling. Defense kept the offense out of the end zone, but that doesn't mean the D is ahead of the O. Uh, I mean, we've had our sh fair share of plays, you know, I don't want to say that, but uh, yeah, they showed up today and they've been showing up and going to work every day. You know, they've, they've made tremendous progress. Without the departed Cody Thompson, Deontay and John Vay Johnson, there is a large hole to fill in the receiving core. Really all of them have been making plays this spring, uh, not to single anyone out. You know, uh, Dez Phillips is returning, Bryce Mitchell is stepping up in a big way, but not to take away from anybody else on the team, they're all making plays out there. Rockets open the 2019 season at Kentucky on August 31st, home opener two weeks later against Murray State. At the Glass Bowl, Mark Hoots, BCSN.